Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to adjust the background color property of text. Um, so instead of adjusting your overall background or the color of the text to make the foreground easily readable, you can add a background color to the element holding the text you want to emphasize. So that just basically means you can put a background on text that you want. This challenge uses, uh, so they're gonna use RGBA instead of hex codes. So instead of just using um, six letters and numbers, they're gonna use this RGBA thing, which I don't see in my general world, but it's important to know. Um, obviously RGBA stands for red, green, blue, and alpha. Alpha is the opacity, that means how much you can see through it. And then red, green, and blue are the three primary colors which make up all the colors in the rainbow. Um, the RGB values can range between 0 and 255. That's important. The alpha value can range from uh, 1, which uh, is fully opaque or a solid color, or 0, which is fully transparent. So 0. 0.5 is half transparent. RGBA is great to use in this case as it allows you to adjust the opacity. This means you don't have to completely block out the background. You'll use background color, so they give you the background color you're going to use for this, which is 4545.01 or 0.1. Um, for this challenge, it produces a dark gray color that is nearly transparent given the low opacity value of 0.1. So it's 10% <clears throat> uh, solid. So it's 90% invisible. Uh, to make the text stand out more, adjust the background color of the H4 element to the given RGB value. So the H4 has no background color right now, so we're just going to write that in. And then we're going to make that equal to this setting here. I'm just going to type it out just because, uh, I don't know, maybe it's more educational. And then with CSS, we always start with the value and then a semicolon and then the set and then we put a semicolon at the end. Um, to make the text stand out more, okay, so we did that. Uh, what, what changed there? Here is what my mistake was. I should have wrote RGBA, so you can tell how often I use this. Okay, so that basically injected this uh, clear color into, or this uh, gray color in there and it produces this gray color. And so now, um, to make the color stand out more, we're going to remove the height property and add a padding property. So they want us to add, uh, remove this height property. So to do that, we'll just get rid of there. And you'll see, oh, look at that. Look what happened there. It sort of, uh, it lost some of its height there and the background actually uh, shrunk with it. And then what we're going to do is add a uh, padding, padding, colon, and then 10px, and then we add the semicolon. Semicolon is probably the most important thing that a lot of uh, early programmers are going to forget. You could also do something like um, you could make it. Uh, you can make the color like green. You see that changes the color of the font. This is just like raw HTML or CSS stuff. That's all I'm trying to show you guys is that you can do other things like this. But what you want to remember is you do this as the selector, and then you do this as the, uh, L, the, the description of it, and then you put a semicolon at the end. I think that that's the most important part here to become comfortable with. And so I think that this is right, and we can run the test. Great, we've passed. Thank you guys for watching. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you think that these videos are useful. We'll see you in the next lesson.